Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm DDF Racer and it's Sunday morning here in Australia, which means it is Saturday night in America, which means it is time for North America Race Room's special event for the month, basically. However, it's not Race Room, it's Automobilista 2, as you probably saw from the intro clips and all that. And it's, a <laughs> it's an amazing event. I am so looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this for so long as well. Let me get the strategy board. Let me just run you through. Adelaide Live with North America Race Room. Uh, it's a okay, down. ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes. It's back. a Kart 1998 special, which basically means that uh, it's the old Indy car when the series had split, I believe. Um, 1998 is when the cars were ridiculously powerful, had ridiculous tires, had ridiculous everything. Yes. Nice win, mate. <laughs> Daz, thank you very much. That's one way to uh, that's one way to start the stream. <laughs> Love your support. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. 1998 cart special. Thank you for the subscribe, Carlos, as well. Awesome stuff. It's all coming in thick and fast today. But yeah, 300 kilometer race, 80 lap race. So basically the premise of this race, let me just fix the board again. In the 90s, the cart series went to Surface Paradise in Australia and the race was held there. Thank you, Carlos. They are all going to be in the fence today, but basically Kart went to Surface Paradise in the 90s and the 2000s as well. And that was the Australian race for the Americans. However, Formula One stopped going to the Adelaide Street Circuit at the end of 1995. What would have happened if IndyCar and Kart went there instead? Well, today that's exactly what we're going to find out with a full distance, full damage, full weather race. It's going to be mad, and I am looking forward to it. I, I believe these are the Gen 2 cars, Shea Samuels in Automobilista 2. Absolute beasts with the turbos. So tricky to drive, but I am so looking forward to this. We've already got like 20, uh, 19 people in the server. We've got Rangy. We've got Rangy, we've got Sticky, we've got Matt, we've got so many familiar people. We've got Jeff Newton here as well. Plus some of the regulars at North America Race Room. Now a bit of strategy for today's race. Now this is where it gets really interesting, okay? 4.4 litres of fuel a lap. The tank only takes 133, so you're burning through that fuel. You're going to need 360 roughly for the, rent, uh, for the whole race. So full tank, plus full tank, plus 94 litres or so, if it's dry. There is a very real possibility that it is going to rain towards the end of the race. There's been a forecast of something like... Um, uh, like 70% chance of storms at the end of the race. Um, so <laughs> just to throw someone else into the mix as well. And even the strategy itself, the tyres are going to be fascinating. So two tyres available, soft tyres and hard tyres. The softs, well, both tyres are good for about two or three laps at ultimate pace. And then they drop off massively. But then as the fuel comes back down, they kind of get back towards that original pace again. So it's kind of like if you imagine is your pace, is you've got like really good pace and then it just kind of slowly comes back up again. I don't know why I didn't just draw that on the board. Probably because I ran out of room. But anyway, 1 minute 15s-ish on good pace on a soft tyre. However, the, the left rear is the limiting tyre here today and that is going to be at 35% at the end of the stint. The hard tyre is about a second to a second and a half slower per lap. However, the rear left is going to be at 60% at the end of the stint. So it might be better on overall pace, but you're still going to be slower. And also both tyres are very, very temperature sensitive, especially on the rear. We're looking at track temps of around 50, 60 degrees today, which is going to be mental. Um, the wear rates are going to be very high, the damage is going to be very high, and like I said, the rain is possibly coming towards the end of the race. And on that note, the rain is definitely here where I am physically in Brisbane, Australia as well. It's not stopped raining for like three days now. We've had like 400, 500 mils of rain a day. So uh, half of the city is underwater. Unfortunately, people have lost their lives here. Something of a bit of a, an emergency uh, natural disaster going on in Brisbane where I live at the moment. I'm safe at the moment, but Mrs. DDF is keeping an eye on the water coming into the house because we're all upstairs, but under the house, the water's coming in right now as we speak and the rain is not stopping anytime soon. So I may have to go halfway through the stream if things get really bad here but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for as long as I can I'm gonna hope that the power stays here as well and the internet stays here so that's what we're dealing with anyway let me switch it over to Automobilist 2 mode
So there we are. And that is the official weather forecast, the Narcast. There's already been a Formula 3 support race here, so that's that's what that is in the middle, that yellow bar. And then, yep, we're going to have light clouds, partly cloudy, and then rain likely. It was 80% chance of rain, not 70%, so that's even, that's even more than I thought. So I think we're going to be having some kind of wet weather ties towards the end of the race, which is really going to spice things up. Because these cars are doing 1 minute 15s on soft tyres. You're doing 1 minute 35, so you got 20 seconds to 25 seconds a lap slower on the wet tyres. Anyway, let me get rid of that okay, weather there. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. And that is where we are currently at the moment. We are in the session. Um, I haven't set a lap yet. People have set laps yet. Um, I've got my setup ready to go, and I've got that ready to go. So we've got four minutes of practice remaining. And then we've got 15 minutes of qualifying, and then an 80 lap race. 300 kilometers, 80 lap race. So, I think it's time we should probably get the headset on and get stuck in. Thank you, Synced! Yeah, I hope it stops raining as well, otherwise, yeah, I'm, the house is in big trouble, basically. So, headset on. Let's pause that music. Let's switch it over to Automobilista 2 driving mode. Let's go and get some laps on the board to give you an idea of just how bonkers this combo is. Where are we? There we are. So this is the race circuit that Formula 1 raced at until 1995. This isn't the modern circuit that the supercars raced at. The curbs are your enemy. They will kill you in a heartbeat. So normally in the V8 supercar layout, you turn right here. Not today. We're taking the old sweeping chicane. Down to second gear, throw it in. Wait for the tyres to come up to temperature and then try and cool them down for the rest of the stint. This corner is insane. That is going to kill so many people in today's race. You've got to get the car turned in just right. And then heavy on the brakes. Excuse me, for the herpin. Slowly, slowly put the power down while the turbo kicks in. Braked, uh, curved braking zone here, not ideal. Big dash of oppo. I'm going to give this guy a bit of a gap ahead of us so we can set a clear lap. So headphones on, volume up, enjoy the sound of the Indy car. Uh, Cart 1998 Gen 2 at Adelaide. Here we go. It's going to be a lot of quiet laps today, I think. This requires so much concentration. Thank you. Sector one is zero point five zero off the pace. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. I'm going to turn the voice comms back on after this lap. We've got all the people from North America race room hanging out, waiting to say hi. Sector 2 is 0 0.42 off the pace. Someone's into the 114s already, that's mental. Oh, big wiggle there. Let's bring the comms in now already anyway. That's Sticky in his Castrol Toyota up ahead of us. B2. Sector 3 is 2 tenths off the pace. Yep, that's an invalid lap already. You're outside of track limits there. Oh, Sticky's gone straight on. Sticky outbraked himself. So I'm going to use this to uh, practice a pit entry, because, yeah, there's going to be a few pit entries today, especially if the weather is changing. And it's a very tricky pit entry. I don't want to do a David Coulthard in 1994 where he bonked it into the barrier on the left-hand side. That's not good. Or I don't want to do a Mika Hakkinen in here. I think that was 95 as well. We had that horrendous crash. 
and uh, basically almost died. That corner right yeah, there. I want to uh, practice that pit entry. Uh, Daz, uh, yep. Slammed into that wall so many times practicing. I was I was thinking of posting the uh, David Coulthard uh, video when <laughs> he did it in 995. He's leading the, the Grand Prix and just uh, came in the pits and slammed into that wall. <laughs> oh, it's he easy done. He then proceeded to get an earful from uh, Alan Jones on the commentary. It's quite funny. Look out for the pit speed limit. <laughs> That's the pit entry. Uh, Daz, I will show you the uh, VR overlay very quickly. I'm not sure how I can do that, actually. Because um, you can't see it here, because this is the, the Automobilist the end of P2. I mean, you could. Can I set the Oculus mirror up very quickly? How would that work? Okay. Let's see if this works, see if I can show you this very quickly. Uh... It's gonna look a bit wrong because it's gonna have my race room overlays on, but you get the idea. Okay, so when I'm in VR, this is what I see. Basically, I've got an overlay like this with some basic telemetry and uh, all my votes and all the subscribers and chat and all that kind of stuff. So I see that when I'm racing. It just you can't the see it like everywhere I could normally. Fair enough. But that's what I see. There's that quite a few watching the F3s. So hopefully that helps, Dads. And that is a Chrome a window, yeah. a Chrome HTML page that I've made uh, with lots of iframes. So I've got an iframe from a chat, an iframe from a sim hub overlay, and that basically bar goes across. So on my race room streams, it's not solo. When uh, I have to record it with the VR monitor, Molly, is it? You can oh, see that little like grey bar along the top of the windshield. Yeah, it's it's not too obvious in GT cars, but on a race single seaters, you see this big black floating bar in the in, in the top of the sky. And it's the same for my eye racing stuff as well. But so AMS2 is really, really good because it lets you nice. record the desktop monitor directly. You don't have to record it straight from the Oculus. I think it varies greatly by how much you send it or how little you send it. Anyway, yeah. that was the practice times. Just, just driving a line, line there, softs were like three seconds quicker for me anyway. And now we I are think they in drop off quick at the start and the then they kind of qualifying down session. A bit. So I'm going to take some fuel yeah. out. Yeah, it makes yeah, sense. It just depends on. I'm going to try and get a lap in. So we've got 20 minutes of qualifying yeah. here. Very cool. No worries, Daz. And thank you again for becoming a channel member, mate. Thank you very much for that. It's awesome. Great to have you here. Thank you for your support. Um, okay, so I reckon. Four laps of fuel, five laps. Yeah, okay, that should be just enough. Put 23 liters in. 23 liters soft tires. That should do the trick. Um, yeah, the tires don't last more than three laps, really. Everything good, Jeff? All right then. Here we go. Let's do some quality. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Great to have you here, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Really appreciate that. Okay. I hope you enjoy the racing. Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. Okay, Dan, we've got 18 minutes to do the business. Your tyres are cold, watch out. We've got cold breath. Such a fun combo. I must admit, coming back to Automobilist 2, I really, really didn't like it at first. I was like, what is this mental oversteer? And just the, the rear of the car is just so loose, but it's the only sim I've driven for like four yeah. days now. I haven't done practice for any other races, even though I've got a big one coming up in iRacing on Wednesday. <laughs> I really should be practicing for that, but AMS2 re requires such a unique driving feel. And I think I'm getting there now. I think I'm getting used to it. I think I'm comfortable. You just got to be so gentle with your inputs. You got to be so gentle and so smooth. It really does reward smoothness. Hey, John. Hope you have a good sleep, mate. Full replay will be available as always. So maybe come back and watch that, because I think this is going to be a bit of a mental race. Anyway, maximum concentration now. Quiet lap time. Here we go. Let's get a quali banker lap on the board. Here we go. Enjoy the sound of the rain out forward at Adelaide.
overcooked it. Half a second easily to be found there. Oh, oh, oh! There's another half a second to be found there. This is a terrible lap, but good job I got fuel for a few more. Thanks, Maximiliano! Scruffy this lap, so much more time to be found, easily a second. Let's try again. You're in pole. Oh. You don't hear that nitrous truth. <laughs> oh! Line these track limits, please, down. Oh, that's an invalid lap. I went over the curbs a bit too much. Probably damaged the underfloor of the car as well a bit there. So I'm just going to take it nice and easy on this lap. I've got no one behind me. Just going to save those tyres, let them cool down a bit. Don't don't need to do this lap. It's not going to count anyway. Save a bit of a gap up ahead. Uh, you can adjust the boost pressure for the turbo for these cars, by the way. Uh, some people have said that you might get a bit of fade towards the end of the race if you run it at 100. And also running it less than 100 might make it a little bit more drivable in the rain so the turbo doesn't kick in so harshly. Um, me, being DDF, knowing nothing about mechanical sympathy, I'm <laughs> going to be running the boost at 100% today. Because maximum power the guy behind has just done a and all that. Eight. Alright, tyres should be nice and cool this lap. Got a nice gap up ahead of us. Haven't taken too much life out of them. Let's give it one last shot. Because after this lap, the tyres will definitely be gone. Let's try again! Your brake temps are good. Yellow flag. 15 minutes remaining. 15 minutes to go. Lockups. Bit of rear wheel spin there. Too much curb. Three tenths down. But that's okay because it was these corners that I lost all my time. Watch your right rear temperature. It's getting hot. Now nah, I've lost even more time there. Really? I think the tyres are definitely past their best. I'm going to keep going anyway just for practice sake, but then I'm going to come into the into the pits and uh, try again. You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. Yeah, tyres are definitely gone now, so I'm going to use this as a pit entry practice because I'm half a second down. I'm not going to get that back in the last sector. Sorry, Nikita. Fuck. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Hey, Robert Mitchell. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing all right, mate. Vault Marlborough, <laughs> and everything's going to go up in a big cloud of smoke. Okay, return to the pit box. And drive. There's traffic behind, keep your wits about you. We've got cold tyres, we need to get some heat into them. That's the only thing about this pit exit, it leads you directly into the racing line. You break some cold. It's a very old school circuit, of course. Oh, they've locked it up anyway. Someone in the Chip Ganassi livery behind us. Andy Morehouse, hello and welcome to the stream. Yellow flag, keep you wet about you, mate. Let them go through, don't want to interrupt their lap. There's someone parked on the right there. Yep. It damages full today, so if you tap it into the wall, it's pretty much game over. Well, it is game over, because you can lose wheels, and your suspension's going to be all over the place here. So, do not want to tap the wall. In the race, I'll be driving a lot more conservatively, as I want to make it through in one piece. Right, let's give this guy some uh, space up ahead, and then we rack it up for another quali lap. 12 minutes to go in the session. Currently on pole by seven tenths, but I doubt that that is going to stick because there's some very fast guys in here who haven't set times yet. Oh, 
bounced it over the curb, but it didn't invalidate the lap, so it's okay. It wasn't fast. It came out like a really bad ass. There we go, there's a stack of time. Maybe not the half a second I imagined it'd be, but it's enough. Good guys. Sector two time is oh. good. Lights wave. That's a fast lap from Nikita. I managed to go another couple of tenths of he's into the 113s. Right, five minutes of fuel remaining to five minutes. E2. That's your quickest lap. Sector one is zero. Let's try again. The the Ties are still good. Two time is good. Sector three is 2.4 seconds off the pace. That lap was at 114.38. That's insane pace from the key to the... Zero, one, two, eight, off the pace. Your right rear tyre is hot. Your brake temperatures are fine, mate. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, slidey! You set to two times quick. Half your fuel left. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. There's three tenths. On your way. Sorry, mate. Get it running. Get it back in the race. I'm not Whoa. sure who that was at the final corner. Sorry about that. No, that was completely my bad. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> sorry, I was coming in hot and caught me out on the brake. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Ah, it's three tenths up as well. There's a car approaching. Don't cross the white line. Watch your mirrors. Your tires are cold. Watch out. Your brakes are cold. Be careful. I think I just got a. There's traffic approaching. I think I just Watch got a. Penalty for speeding in the pits. I just rolled someone. I just rolled someone at the final corner. Somehow I improved it. See someone coming in hot there. There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of cars dying there. Shit. Anyway. Wait for them to go park the car. Pretty sure I just got a grid penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Forgot to put the limiter on. Well, I thought it was on because it said pit limiter engaged on my overlay, but it wasn't. It went straight over the limit, so, um, yeah. Automobilists are too lying to me there. <laughs> right. Chris Ullier has gone and set a 1 minute 14.6. Nikita with a 113.7. I know I can maybe get a 113.9 with good time with a good lap, with no traffic, but this is a very tight track for traffic, so let's try and find the gap. Yeah, I'm not kind of sure what penalty it's going to be for the grid. It just flashed up very quickly then, grid penalty for speeding in the pits. Damn it. Rookie mistake. Right, here we go, let's try another lap. 1 minute 13 incoming, fingers crossed. It's the same guy again! <laughs> oh, I came out the pits and just slowed it into the corner. Get on it. Oh, okay. Car approaching, watch your mirrors. Track limits, this lap will be deleted. It's 
So that's a few bins in the qualifying session already. This is going very well. Hopefully I'm getting them out of the way now. Not in the race. But it just goes to show that traffic is horrible here. In the race, it's going to be very difficult to overtake people. It's going to be very tricky with lapped cards as well. The mirrors on this thing aren't great. I mean, I'm using the virtual mirror that you can see. I've got that plastered right in my dash in VR here. Right in front of my... Right in front of me, so I've got nice visibility on who's behind, but yeah. Um, I think we've got 20 cars in the race, Daz. Almost a full grid of car 98. Right then, six minutes to go. Hopefully no one's coming out the pits. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We've got a clear track, right, focus. Just think of them like group five. <laughs> That's the wrong way. Also, I'm breathing on mic. Looks like it's Gabriel. Is he breathing heavy, man? Sorry. <laughs> All good. New finish light. All good. Move the mic away. Hopefully, you are not hearing me anymore. Sorry. Nah, that's one way of calming the previous minutes. Sector two time is okay. Adding to the intensity. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Oh, it's nearly there! Oh, it's less than a ten. Two tenths off the pace in sector one. Sector two times ago. Sector three is two point two seconds off the pace. all the curbs and then some only need to find a tenth of a second sector two time is good <laughs> wheel spin Oh, lost some more time then. Try one more lap. I don't think the tyres would be any good though. Sector 3 is 2.3 seconds off the pace. Ooh. Oh no, the tyres are definitely not good now. Move it out of the way. That was a bin. Ooh. Okay, right then. Um, what is my penalty? Can I see my penalty there? It doesn't say. doesn't say what my penalty is on the screen. Okay, um, right. It's saying I've got damage. I might have enough time to do one more lap after this. There's a car behind. Take care, rejoin him. Watch the track limits. Please, Dan. The guy behind has just done a 114.10. Yeah, it's still saying I've got damage. 108.30. Leader's just done a 108. That doesn't sound right, Spotter. Wait, what? Did you just say 108? That's what I heard. Oh. Someone took the Joker lap, or the old layout, or the new layout. <laughs> <laughs> also, I got a message from my Spotter saying I had a grid penalty for uh, speeding in the pit lane. But I can't uh, see anything on the menu. Yeah, that I is possible. Yeah, if it's not too much over, it just says it. Ooh. Warning. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. 
Yep, true Viperia, and it looks like I got away with it. I found that out because I used to do burnouts in the pits, and I'll leave the pits, <laughs> then I'll have a grid penalty. The brake temperatures are looking good. Alright, maybe a couple of laps to go. Uh, 10 there. A couple of laps to go. A lot of names I don't want to go door to door with. Got no doors. <laughs> the thing you ain't got doors, yep. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, locked it up now. JK! Yeah. Okay, well, it's not gonna be this lap. You get full boost when you over boost when you hit the wall. <laughs> I'm not gonna be getting it on this lap. Think that month will third eyebrow. Well, we only got one, because two is zero. <laughs> Point three one off the pace. <laughs> Ring beard just around his feet as I lose his eyes. Alright, it's the last lap showdown. Can I find a tenth on Nikita? All I need is a tenth for pole position. Second ain't bad though. Alright Dan, we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Hopefully I don't get traffic here. Nikita's gonna made it a tenth and a half. Tenth and a half to find. I don't think it's going to happen. Now I'm practicing my pit entry again. Four tenths down. Watch your speed. Going to come into the box. Fast bumps, not set up I'm gonna clear that. Clear that board. That's there the we go. Session, P2. Oh, okay. Good hustle up top, guys. Whew. It's pretty close at the top there with Nikita. Oh, I could have had him if I put the lap together. There's your, there's your standings for the grid. That's pretty close. Mm. And that's who we've got in the server all up. So we got. Jeff, Rangy, uh, Deadwing, Gandalf. That wasn't that wasn't a particularly uh, good lap for Gandalf. Hey, I know he's faster right, than that. This is it. Oh boy, oh boy. Jack Nikita. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Congrats on the pole, Nikita. Yeah, good job, Nikita. Awesome lap. So I line up on the left side at the, on at the end of the lap. All right, so strats for me flag. is soft tires. Yeah, wait for like the first three rows. I'm gonna to fall tank up a bit, it. Then yeah, you can call the green flag. And then pit strategy, yeah, so tank and soft, the whole, uh, out lap. tank and hard, tank and wet. That's all I need. Because... So odds just on the left? Yes. Take yes, the fuel out after that. Alright then. Server rolled over fine. <sighs> yeah. Here we go, this is yeah, it. 80 yet. laps of <laughs> car 1998. As far as I know. Adelaide. I'm not British. <laughs> Mental times. Not yeah, nervous. This is going to be stressful. Yeah, no. I hope you guys enjoy it. If it you do, don't pretty, forget to leave a like, well. say hi in yeah. chat, and make sure you subscribe because yeah, probably I like to do these even, AMS2 special races whenever you can. Especially with these guys. Great group of guys to race guys with. Guys to guys to race with. All right then. Here we go. Well, it's um. I run on the British flag. Your flag, Jeff. We're copying. Just missing the stars, mate. Just missing the stars. 
Yeah, I haven't noticed that either. Cause I'm, what, I'm what, uh, search for failure. What's Thanks, speed? David. Peace, that be. Uh, Let's Daz. Uh, tape's holding up really good. This is uh, just really about now, so. um, 70, 80 miles an hour. So it's like, okay. yeah, roughly. Uh, what's that in kilometers? Just notice that Sticky's like got the Kenyan flag for some reason. Okay. Good on Gandalf. Yeah, they said that flag. in as well, so, yeah. Alright, don't launch it at the start. Take it easy. Yep, let's roll Wait it. for the guy in front. Wait, hang on. These liveries look fantastic. I'm the only Aussie in here. Yeah. I got a Marlboro sitting in front of you. Okay, down. Get ready. Right. Okay, here we go. And they just released the one for two thousand. It's a as well. manual rolling. Floor it. Green, green, green. I totally just didn't stall it. You didn't see anything. Single file, single file. Right, yes. Yeah, my tire pressure my changed. Yeah, okay, they will creep up on you. So we have a. Formation we'll lap here, there, uh, and then we have a manual yeah, rolling start. We're not we using. In this series, or we don't. So basically, all, um, we're not using AMS 2's rolling start because that is a Thanks, little man. bit temperamental. Is everyone in their poly right, spot? Uh, yeah, I'm back in my position. Sorry about yeah. that. I had to stall you. Let me know if I'm out because I didn't even look to see what I qualify at. Sorry. Yeah, you and me swapped. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can pass me. Go. Uh, Try and get okay. some heat into yeah, the tires. We got Nikita up ahead. We got Chris Ullier behind. Crazy Canuck. Looking at a window, Tactical Nuclear Pingu. Uh, no one's real That's names in AMS2. I think I'm the only one using maybe Nikita and Chris, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. 80 laps coming up, guys. Full tank of fuel. Let's put it in a lower gear, save some fuel. Yeah, it does. It's PTP. So that's why if someone's got a bad connection, um, it can hold on the server. Get some heat in the tyres. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Andy. No bins, indeed, What's David. That? I was just saying it was bunching up a little bit. Yeah, we're into each other. Oh, nervous. Don't forget, the rain is coming at the end of the race. 80% chance of severe storm at the checkered flag. Heat is approaching final turn. Go, go, go. And we're away! Bit of a scruffy start. Car just didn't want to turn in properly, and it's locking up a bit as well. Cold tires, cold brakes. Got to avoid the rears heating up, avoid the locking up. Doesn't matter if he pulls a gap on me in the first few laps. So I'm looking after the tyres for the long stint. I don't know if these guys are on hards or what. But softs are going to be down to like 30% by the end of the stint, so it's got to be careful. Over the kerb as well there. Nikita did the same two seconds back already, but this is fine. It's a long race. I'm looking after the tyres. Penske in behind, got the Lola up ahead of us. It is a very visually pleasing game, Bose, that is for sure. Just you wait until the end of the race when it starts to get a bit cloudy. The leader has just done 118.143 P2. That lap time was 119.112. So yep, yeah, Nikita's going. He's burning the tyres up. Ideally, I want to be running mid 16s. That's my race oh, pace. Well, I didn't last long, did if I can keep it in the one minute 16s mid, that's ideal race pace for me. Oh, a bit of understeer, but it's scrape over the curb again. The gap behind is now 
Just got to keep those rear temperatures down. All about the tyre wear today. That's good. That's the kind of pace that we need. Although Nikita into the 115s already. Pretty mental. Gotta be so patient at the apexes here. Wait for the car to nose in. That's better. You've really got to hold it longer than you think. Wait for the understeer to stop before you can plant it, because it just does plow on the corner exit very easily. Oh, wider. What's your rear tire temperatures? They're getting hot. Yep, he's on the case already. Once they get hot, you lose grip for a few corners, and then it makes it even harder. Very conscious of that concertina okay, effect no, behind. Oh, that was scruffy over course. the curbs then. Thought that was going to be a cut track, maybe a penalty. Or worse, a bin into the fence. This is terrifying, but awesome fun. What a great combo. It would have been amazing to see an uh, IndyCar kart race here in real life, instead of Surface Paradise. Nothing against someone else's crew chief. Surface Paradise at all. The Formula 1 races here were already, uh, already pretty special. P15, you can hear my crew chief? Yes. Yep. I'm not sure what I can do about that. Um, I'll mute. That's okay, man. Yeah, Nikita's pulling away a bit there. Oh, locked it up big time. Six tenths down now. Chris is hanging in station behind. But yeah, Nikita's going very much down the road. Maybe he's short fueled it, maybe he's making an extra stop with the soft tyres, maybe he's not doing a full stint's worth. Who knows what the strategy is going to be like today. I certainly don't. We've got 20 people all with completely different ideas of how to approach this race, and 20 people who are all going to be improvising in about an hour's time when the heavens open, maybe. That's what I love about Automobilista 2, is just the, the strategy in it. There's lots of variations in strategy because of tyre temps, tyre work, weather patterns. Gives you a lot to think about when it holds together. Same at Daytona as well, with the changing conditions and the multi-class on the day to night. so gentle on the brakes. It's very easy to lock this thing up. Rear temps are at 106 degrees. Track temp is 58 degrees. Threading the needle here. Absolutely threading the needle. Yeah, very true, Maximiliano. The tyres just don't get a chance to cool down on the straights because it's very tight and twisty circuit, this. I mean, I'm very grateful that there's only really a few high-speed corners. The rest of it is 90 degrees and hairpins. Oh, that, that corner never gets any less terrifying. We are running in second place, though. Seven laps down. 
approaching 10% race distance. Oh, miss that apex. Oh, ho, ho. got a big fat right rear tyre up on the kerb. It just didn't want to accelerate. That wasn't a good lap. That's back into the uh, high 16s. That was a 17.10. Okay, Dan, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Man, Nikita smashing out those lap times in first. He's got to be short fuel on it, surely. I think Chris behind is getting up to speed as well. He's starting to get some pace. He's getting bigger and bigger in the mirror. And Soupy, hello! It's all over you. Keep your exit speeds up and stay smooth. Sometimes there's benefits to not being able to sleep, right? <laughs> you get to catch the rare DDF stream with the Americans. Eight tenths back to Chris. coming out the final corner, that's only a tenth off my best lap. Your last lap time was at, what, 16.52? 16.5, that's alright. The guy behind did a 17 flat, Nikita did a 16.2. So he pulled out another two tenths on me, uh, three tenths on me. Although that was a bit of a lock up there from what I could see. Traffic is going to come into play though. Maybe we can use some of that to our advantage. Seven seconds up the road to Gandalf the Dwarf uncharacteristically low position he must just not be feeling it today he must be in the hang of it because he was flying in the p2 at daytona last month bob it down to third for safety there tires are starting to wear off a bit now those softs do wear out pretty quick Feels like I've got a classic McLaren Marlboro chasing me, it's awesome! Obviously Penske, not a McLaren. A glass of wine! Oh man. A bit too early in the morning for me to do that, but that does sound like a good idea. 1 minute 16.8 for me there. minute 16.7 for Nikita up ahead of us. One minute 16.3 for Chris behind. Chris really gained some time on me that lap. That's Gandalf letting me through. You shall not pass except when I move over for blue flags. <laughs> sorry, it's too easy. I'm sorry. We're seeing minor wear on your rear tyres. Yep. Spotter on the radio. Rear tyres starting to go. It's funny because SimHub only says the rear left is at eighty-nine percent, but in Automobilist Two, that is quite a bit. I think SimHub slightly wrong, or Crew Chief is slightly wrong as well. Basically, there's a mismatch in the data. One of them basically thinks it wears out a lot faster than it does. That was a horrible final corner. Lost half a second there. That was a 17-2. That's not good. I need to keep it into the 16s if I want to try and keep some kind of strategy alive in this race. Just need to stay in contention until the rain comes here. Because then it's anybody's guess. Five seconds up the road to Nikita. You can get away with a bit of curb here. Not too much. You 
you just kind of ride up on them gently like that. Okay, now the pace is getting good because the fuel starts to come down a bit. The tyres do go through a very awkward phase at the start of the stint, maybe blistering or something, I'm not too sure. Whereas they're good for two laps, and they're terrible for ten, and then the pace suddenly comes back. There's Jeff Newton facing the wrong way! Oh no, mate, that's not good. Jeff's a very talented driver, races in Oz and Z Sim Racing. Okay, now we're playing matching race pace. That lap was at 16.24. You're a tenth off the pace. That was a 16.2. Half a second off the best lap of the race so far. But kind of comparable to what Nikita's doing up, up the road. Uh, and Super, yes, IndyCar Kart do have wet tyres. Because these are full slicks. It would not make sense. <laughs> to be running on full slicks in torrential rain, which is what happens in Adelaide. You get 40 degree, 35 degree ambient temperature. The road is so hot. And then round about late afternoon, 4 or 5 p.m., the clouds start to form, the humidity builds, and then it just cracks. And you get these epic storms. Locked it up then. Uh, the curbs are very much capable of killing your suspension, Des. So you can't abuse them too much. You can use them. A oh, you can use them a little bit. That was just me not being prepared for the turbo. That was me putting the throttle down too quickly. Can you front right? The gap behind is now 1.2. That lap time was 17.04. That was definitely an underpants moment. That. front right is starting to get maybe a small flat spot because it keeps on locking up. I don't think I'm applying much more braking than normal, so I think maybe I've you? damaged it a bit there. Somewhere, maybe I've had a little lock up and it's just been accumulating over time. Oh yeah, Sticky's in this race. Recognise that voice anywhere. Chris is hanging on behind, only a second. Oh, thank you, Mark! Yep, that's exactly what I needed right now. Fresh set of grunts. It's awesome. Nikita smashing out low 1 minute 16s is insane. Me and Chris and... Scotty in fourth, 16, managing three, five. mid 16s. Yep, fuel's starting to come down a lot now. That's helping with the pace for sure. The tyres plateau after the first two or three laps. You lose a heap of speed and then it just comes back gradually towards the point at the end of the stint where you can match your fast lap times again. That's Jeff up ahead of us again. He's having a nightmare. He's about to go another lap down. Must have some kind of damage. He's leaving it out of the way. The gap behind is now 0.9. Thanks, Jeff. Captain Nikita, around about 10 seconds now. He's. Yeah. Man, that guy's speedy. My only hope is he's gone soft tyres and short stinting, trying to pull out an advantage and do a Michael Schumacher-esque extra stop strategy scenario thing. Me, I'm only going to be going for the minimum amount of stops. So I've tanked it. We've got a set of soft tyres on. About 16.28. 16.2, that's good. Almost smashed my best lap of the race, despite being scruffy. Got some more traffic coming up ahead, though. Yeah, I reckon if I lose a wheel, I'm done. <laughs> this 
This is a bad time to catch him. Oh, a lot of push there. A lot of error push. That was huge. Chris is closing in behind. Desmond, welcome to the stream. Hello. do lose a fair bit of grip following another car it seems. I haven't really experienced that in any of my testing so far. Gotta be mindful of that. Your last lap time was at far right, clear to the right. That was a bit awkward there, but not much you can do apart from backing out of it completely. Chris got stuck behind him though. Chris is still stuck behind him. Nikita, only five seconds up the road now. He must have had a few problems getting past these guys as well, but there's no clean place to lap traffic here. Tie attempts coming back down again, that's good. Got Vaughn up ahead of us. Car right. Cheers, Vaughn. Clear right. You put it away. The gap behind us now. That was very nice of him. Moving off the line there. Very much appreciated. Actually, no, the gap to Nikita is more like 10 seconds, I think. Just the relative and AMS2 can get a bit screwy. Oh, Chris! Chris overshot his braking zone Straight behind. Desmond, not only hello and welcome, but thank you so much for the subscribe. I think at the end, maybe. Pitting now. Oh! That was 17.80. Sector 1 is 0.8. Off the face. Chris came into the pits. What's he doing? Chris is trying a different strategy here. The gap in front has increased to 8.4 seconds. Maybe he was on softs and they're not lasting. I can't tell it's got your range, but I can see it. I'm going to get my pit strategy ready on the straight this lap. No point fiddling with it if I need to come in an emergency. So, uh, race strategy, select strategy, tank, soft, boom. There we go. Ready to go. And that's why you do pit stop presets. You don't have to mess around with... Cheers, getting off. I'm off on an adventure. Selecting your tyres on the, on the fly. Oh! That's just a lack of concentration. Overheat the tyres, slid it into the corner. They're going to be rough for this one too. So just nice and gentle. Yep, lock up again. That was a horrible lap. Right, focus. That last lap was at 118.52. Sector 3 is 1.7. Off the pace. Lost a lot of time there. There's definitely some clouds in the sky forming. That's very concerning. I didn't expect it to be raining anywhere near this soon into the start of the race. Although the clouds are only forming, it's not raining yet, so that is a good sign. Lap 18. Yep, there's definitely a flat spot on the front right. Keeps catching. We're set in the face. That lap time was 16.15. Still set my fastest lap of the race regardless, though. That is quite impressive. Wasn't expecting that. Just goes to show you the fuel burn, though. The fuel burn's huge. The gap ahead is now 9.6 seconds. Only 9 seconds to Nikita. We haven't fallen as far back as I thought I would. 
tires are hot. Your rear tires are getting hot. Yeah, danger zone. I wonder why Chris came into the pits. Is he on a alternate strat or has he got damage or something? I don't know. Very confusing. I've still got 15 minutes left on this tank though. I'm trying to extend it as long as possible to give me the most options for when the weather changes. We're seeing a bit of wear on your front tyres. We're looking at significant wear on those rear tyres. Oh, by the way guys, if you want to watch the official broadcast, oh, I'm such an idiot, I can't believe I haven't mentioned this so far. If you guys want to watch the official North America broadcast, type into the chat exclamation mark broadcast and that will give you a YouTube link to watch on a second tab. We can watch the full race with commentary, full standings. The guys over there do a fantastic job. These guys are not battling for position. Right side, we're right. On your left. Clear left. He caught me out on the brakes then. I didn't expect him to brake so early. That's why I sent it up the inside. That wasn't an intentional dive. I was ready to brake just before 150. Sorry, Trinomi. Very cooperative there, thank you mate, that could have been a big one. Locked up and everything going into the uh, Decapville Herpen. Right, let's try and get some pace back. The gap in front is increasing, it's now 11 now seconds. Okay, cool. Yeah, lost a couple of seconds to Nikita in the last few laps with the with the traffic and the scruffy mis mistakes. Okay, it's not developed by sector 3, but chances it. <laughs> I was about to say that. The tire temperatures look good. Oh, that's Gandalf moving offline. Okay, Still running in second. Oh, yeah. Nikita's in the pits! Well, obviously my relative made all the rest of it's completely screwed, so if you're coming up on me, I know you're a blue flag, gives a shout. I'll be nice. That's my best lap of the race so far as well. Okay, Dan, keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. You're Nikita right did short fuel it. Right now. That was a uh, 116.00. Right. right, we're in the lead of the race. Nikita stopped early. I've still got another... 10 laps to go and the pace is good pace is very good actually I can hang with my best tyres are doing alright soft tyres as well your right front has got minor wear we're seeing significant wear on both left side tyres yeah now the fuel's coming down the car feels really good really good We go fastest lap of the race as well. Let's see what Nikita does on his fresh tyres though. Cheers, Gendo.
Oh, it's on, guys. I told you I was saving the tyres at the start of the stint. And this is exactly why, for this moment now, this is push time. The gap behind is now 30 seconds. Which is funny enough, something that my wife will be saying very soon. <laughs> Sorry. For those who don't know, she's 37 weeks pregnant. I hope she's not watching this. Just got to keep it together, keep it steady. The guy behind has just done a 115.64. Okay, Nikita's faster on his fresh tyres, but his pace is going to drop again, no doubt. Once that shiny three-lap advantage wears off, and they grip in for the stint. Got significant tyre wear all around. Someone's off by the side of the track there, that's Jeff! Oh, Jeff! Another PB. You know, in the lead, fastest lap. Your lap time was 115.61. That's the fastest lap that's faster than Nikita on his fresh tyres. Master strats. Oh, the pedal cam died. Sorry about that, guys. Not much I can do. Oh, I'm having an absolute dog of a day. Whoa! <laughs> All right, we're right. I was going to the right. They moved offline. It's now 14 In the words of Martin Brundle, that could have been an airplane crash. If it gets, if it gets anywhere, so I'll probably leave. Just, just because I don't want to be a nuisance to all of you. That's all. Um, I do use the rumble in the pedals, by the way, uh, Daz, but the pedal cam is something completely different that's not connected to the pedals whatsoever. That's an old phone that JB gave me, actually, that I've hooked up using Droid Cam. You've just done it on 16 again, not too late. Maybe my Wi-Fi cut out temporarily. Oh, here's Ray G. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to that before. Haunted! Hello! Such a good circuit, eh, Dennis? We're doing a what-if scenario today. What if IndyCar and Kart went to Adelaide instead of Surface Paradise in the 90s? Full 300 kilometer race. Full damage, full weather, you can see the clouds. Are getting a bit darker in the sky now, possibly a storm at the end. Um, I haven't stopped yet. Started the race on soft tyres and a full tank of fuel. Nikita behind me. He was been leading the race. He had about a 10 second advantage on me, but he came in a few laps ago. Same here. Must be the server then. I haven't seen him. You've just done a 115.94. One just mur almost murdered me on the kick on the back straight. Cheers, Def. Me too. Sorry about that. My screen froze. So, yeah. Nikita, we are currently in a battle with Nikita. Battle of strategy. 
I think he's short fueled it. He might be going for an extra stop today. As I've tanked it and I'm going as far as I can. Tires seem to be hanging on well, which is good. I didn't think they'd hang on this well. In my testing, I'd been using more wear than this. Or I've been experiencing more wear than this. They've been down to about 60% by now. So maybe having a few reluctant laps in traffic has saved the sliding and saved the temperatures. They're only at 98 degrees, which sounds like a lot, but normally the rear tires are up at like 105. Lap 27 of 81 here. Got some traffic up ahead here. The gap behind is now 60 seconds. Okay, Dan, you've got about four laps of fuel left. That lap time was 16.14. Sector 1 is 0.47 off the pace. That's range, he's out of the race. No worries. It's this sucks, Ranger. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Missed my braking, got on the marbles, and just went almost straight into the fence, and now the tyres are dirty as well. Yeah. Cannot go offline in this thing. <laughs> He'll kill you. Got three laps of fuel left. Big lockup as well. Yep. No, oh, ties are dirty. Ties are dirty. Gotta take it nice and calm for a lap or two. Get them back up to speed properly. Might be worth coming in for a pit stop on this lap. Because these guys, 12th, 17th, 18th, and 12th, they're not really fighting position. Just done on 18.05. Pit limit indeed does. Left side, clear left. Thank you, Vaughn. Now these guys are not fighting for position at all. Tactical nuclear pingu up ahead, see if I can use some slipstream. The gap behind is now 15. Left side, still there. Clear left. Got 15 seconds to Nikita behind. I'm not sure why they're ghosting to be honest. Maybe connection issues? Or maybe it's me with the connection issues since I'm the Australian on the American server. Perhaps. Two laps of fuel remaining. That lap time was 116.48. It's Trinomi again. It's the one that I dived last time into the into the hairpin. Let's me through, thank you. Didn't lose too much, only a couple of tenths. Sorry, Avery. All good. Oh, lock up. Gandalf letting us through. Right side. That's the stack of time there. Right. That was awkward. Okay, pit stop confirmed this lap, guys. Coming in, full tank of fuel, another set of soft tyres. Hopefully we can make it last until the rain gets here. Box this lap, please, Dan. Is 
that a shell livery behind me? Estimate about 16 more laps from this set of tyres. Stuck in behind some more traffic here, lost another half second or so. Please let me go before this corner. Thank you. On your right, clear right. All right, pit stop request. Comes up briefly. The engine doesn't sound right, mate. We'll keep an eye on it. Oh. Oh, I had a bit of a screen freeze there, just as I was approaching the braking zone. Engine doesn't sound right, though. Maybe the boost's kicking in. All right, don't do a David Coulthard. I just got 20% engine damage from nothing. Mine says 20% just from driving. Look out for the pit speed limit. Yeah, I got a warning as well, yeah. That's because it's the clutch. Okay, fuel and tires, no repairs. Whew. <laughs> I'm centered and I said that. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. God. Sorry, to do that. Go, go, go. <laughs> Stalled it! Track temperature's decreasing. It's now 55 Celsius. Watch your mirrors, there's a car approaching. Nikita's oh, back so in the sorry, lead, but mate. he's out of sync. Cold tires all around. Actually, I said it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's totally my fault there. Uh, Steve, AMS2 is always going to be some degree of broken. It's just whether it's acceptable or not, I guess. No, I think I'm going to call it too after all that debacle. <laughs> Uh, Sean, I um, yeah. stayed out about 10 laps longer than Nikita. He made an early pit stop. I think I'm going to be done, to be honest. I think he's. Yeah, he might be going for an extra pit stop. We'll see. pop up. I wanted to show my face, so anyway. The gap behind is now. Yeah, no, nah, you good. good fun car to drive. I will give you all that, so. All good. Thanks for that. All good. Thank you. Come out just ahead of Chris as well. Managed to hold on to second just. Wait for the tyres to come up. Oh, wiggle here. All right, quiet lap incoming. Get on these new tyres, yeah, get some pace. Map on. Are we still stuck? Oh, it's me. Give it off. Oh, okay. Strategies are all over the place. Here we go. All right, down. Come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, apexes and exits. V2, attract temperatures, yeah, well, do not so now fast. 53 oh. Celsius. That's all good. Mm. <laughs> oh! So was it, was it a mistake repairing my engine damage? Yep. <laughs> I'm just going to destroy itself. What side? So so stupid, why is it say it's all fine. I think, it's, I think it's clutch and the curbs. <laughs> yeah, Daz, Sky's looking, uh... Watch out. Okay, Dan, you're gaining on this car. The gap is 6.7. The car behind's pitting. You've just done a 17.19. That's Emery. It looks like rain. Oh, I'm losing so much time here. Not yet, I'm not ready. Love the rain. I have done zero rain practice. Lose two and a half seconds on this lap so far, this ain't good. Hey, aim to excel! I thought the rain was like the fourth time. Right side. Hold your eye. That's Emery getting out of it on corner exit. That's yeah, a bit dangerous. 
Okay, well, quiet lap hasn't been achieved. Pace lap hasn't been achieved. The uh, new pace potential of these soft tyres has been absolutely squandered, and I think it's possibly going to start raining soon. Look at those clouds. Track temperature's dropping as well, which is a very big indicator. Jared, Mendel, seven months. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How's the broadcast going for you, mate? It's now 48 Celsius. Don't forget, anyone who does want to watch Jared's official North America broadcast, type into the chat exclamation mark broadcast right now. Does an awesome job over there. Air temp's falling. It's now 27 Celsius. Open up on a second tab, of course. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Do some split screen viewing action, like at the sports bar. Maybe Nikita did pit early to take advantage of the rain. Who knows? It's all up in the air right now. I am struggling for lap time though. Need to get back into the 1 minute 16. Jason! Hello, sir! Bit loose on the rear, then. Right. Our last lap was at 17.01. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 46 Celsius. Well, let me One through. Side. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't even an intentional one, David. Trust me, I just... <laughs> pun definitely not intended, but yet the weather, it is all up in the air right now. That was hairy. Oh, yeah. I think rain could be hitting anytime soon. I thought it was only going to be in for the last few laps, but it looked like it looks like the entire second half of the race might be under stormy conditions, and then it gets extremely treacherous. Now's the quiet lap. Front is now 10 seconds. Your last lap time was at 17.52. Sector 1 is 4.1. Off the pace. The track temperature is falling. It's now 43 Celsius. Thanks, man. No problem. I'm about as slow as can be. No reason holding anyone up. <laughs> on his P4 behind you. Thanks, Leave your old fella out of this, Rangy. That's family stream time, mate. Come on. <laughs> That was worth breaking the quiet lap for. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, that's definitely back into the 1 minute 16s. That's You've good. Sector 3 is 0 0.44 off the base. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 41 Celsius. I love how they say the track temperature is decreasing. And it's still above 40. Adelaide can get extremely hot. Sorry to see you out of the race though, Rangy. I will admit it is an absolutely mental combo. Someone's going to bin it, surely. It's now 25 Celsius. Running in seconds. 
Nikita is on a different strategy. Came into the pits about 10 laps before me. I managed to extend the soft tyres and have a pace advantage on him at the same time as well. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out at the end of the race when it all squares out. Maybe Nikita's going to have to make one more pit stop than me. But I'm in a very good position here because I have got a ton of fuel and I know the tyres are going to last. I got another 23 laps. The gap in front is now. Nikita's only got 13. So if it starts raining oh, the track temperatures later than expected, then I've got the advantage. I've got that extra window. Although running over the curbs like that isn't going to help. I thought the rear was going to snap on me, so I steered out of it. Oh, was that a flash of lightning? Did we just have a flash of lightning in the distance? I think Nikita's got traffic there, Sean. Yeah, Nikita had a little bit of traffic then. Maybe he's been held up. I'm going to have to get through that now. Does. It really depends on the wetness of the circuit, not so much the amount of rain that's coming down. It depends on the surface itself. If there's a dry line, you can hang on to the dry tyres for quite some time. In my practice, because it was only me running round, the track got wet very quickly in storm conditions. So maybe two, three laps. But when it, when it switches, when, when the track becomes too wet, oh my goodness, there is absolutely no grip whatsoever. Think Lando Norris um, Sochi on steroids. Not like Lando Norris on steroids, think of like the grip loss on steroids. <laughs> you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Awkward place to catch the traffic here. They're letting me through. That was awkward, that's another terrible lap. And this is why I was gaining on Nikita. This wasn't... Oh, it's just no good time to catch someone. Reduced track temperatures definitely helping with the rears. They're now below 90 degrees, even with all of this ridiculous sliding. So yeah, you really want to switch the wets before it gets too wet, because the slicks will lose 30 seconds a lap easy. But then again, the wets, they're like 15 to, got a bit of wet. 20 to 15 to 20 seconds a lap slower anyway when it's full wet. So you do lose a lot of pace in the wet. Just pathetic slow speed understeer. Someone's lost it there. Watch on the rejoin. That was Theodore. Yeah, Gats and Akita's about 10 seconds up the road. Okay. That's mental. Nikita's just gone and set the fastest lap of the race, but that's because he's going through that fuel burn phase that I experienced before. I just go. Okay, Dan, we're halfway home. We estimate 21. Gotta wait for the tyres. The lap time was at 116.88. Wait, Ensbury. If you've DNF'd, you know what that means now, right? Not anyway. Good luck, guys. Say, hey, mate. Thanks, Ensbury. Uh, me and Ensbury, aka Tactical Nuclear Pingo, have got a bit of a thing going so whenever we race together. Uh, donate sixty-nine dollars. <laughs> uh, 
actually uh, had an unfortunate meeting with the curb right in front of me. Yeah. No. That looked great. Whenever me and Ensby have raced together, it's either been 1-2 or double DNF, so I'm pretty nervous now. <laughs> Solid second position. And that's Sticky up ahead of us. Hey, Sticky. Left side. Clear to the left. In his Castrol. The <laughs> has increased. It's now about 14 seconds. That lap was a 17.83. Sector 2 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. I can't distract him with a Castrol poster when he is the Castrol poster, Sean. <laughs> Not much I can do there, man. Yep, yeah, that's half distance-ish. Just over half distance anyway. Lap 43 of 81. On it's only really 81. Left us all here to suffer for the rest of it. It's only really 80 lap distance, but we had an extra lap because of the formation at the start. <laughs> so we've got a lap on Sticky there. Nikita, yep, he's pulling away up ahead. Lap times are dropping because the, the cars are really spread out on track now. Oh! Big lockup. Get nice that power man. down gently. Yep. Sky is very grey now. Bit of oppo. Well, that was a 17.00. Sector 3 is 0.6 off the pace. Need to be in the one minute sixteens. Set to one minute sixteen point nine six nine. Thank you. One sixty nine sixty nine to be precise. Speaking of which, the channel recently hit sixty nine sixty nine subscribers. Behind is pitting. It's a bit of a strange milestone, but you know, because we're really mature on this channel, we're going to host a community event. <laughs> We've seen a bit of wear all round. Sixty nine laps. Stutter almost got me that time of the 1969 NSU in race room at the Mullenbach Schleifer. So I'm not sure when that's going to be uh, hosted, but there will be a DDF community event in the next few weeks at some point to celebrate that ridiculous milestone. <laughs> nice, yeah, Steve, David. Well, uh, you're losing power with this engine damage number? Uh, Lena, just... this is the Gen 2 car, mate. Uh, specifically, I'm driving the Reynard Ford. I cannot call sympathy. It doesn't do it's anything. Like to the Sorry. Been one hell of a race so far. Not much has happened. Was, uh, 116, in terms of on-track action, all the cars have been pretty spread out. The all the strategy's been pretty the damage do anything uh, to simple so far. I uh, put it on second position on the grid. The gap ahead is now 14 seconds. Had an okay start, held on to second, and Nikita's pulled away from me every lap ever since. But uh, he stopped really early for fuel. I managed to overcut him by about 15 laps and keep the pace advantage on the soft tyres. So he's going to be coming in for a pit anytime soon. Because I've only got about 16 laps left in the tank. So, it, has he timed it too early? Because there's no point coming in for dry tyres now because there's an 80% chance of storms at the end of this race. Oh, I got on the marble zen. So if it starts raining soon, I could be in a good position to put some wet tyres on because I've got the overcut on him again. Uh, no, not historic weather, Lena. This is, the um... Was uh, scripted weather by the admins. Uh, we're basically doing a what-if cart went to Adelaide instead of Surfers Paradise. Full distance, 300 kilometer race, 80 laps today. So that's the thought process behind this. We've all got the 1998 skins. We're all here. 20-car grid. Oh, I think a lot of people have dropped out now due to crashes and attrition and all that kind of stuff.
Oh, Steve, these things are incredibly mental in the wet. And I think we're going to find out rather shortly just exactly how mental that is. 20 to, well, yeah, about 20 second time loss. Just no grip whatsoever. Hello! One side. Clear to the left. Cheers, Theo. Gap in front has increased to 16 seconds. That was a... Uh, yeah, Nikita's pulling out on me. That's because he's got less fuel. And he's going through that fuel burn phase where the tyres come good again. Um, I've just done a recap of the race, by the way, Bushel. So if you rewind about two minutes... That'll save me uh, <laughs> repeating myself all over again. But I basically started second, held second on an overcut strategy. Nikita's got 16 seconds on me down the road. He's got me on pace, but the rain is coming. The rain is coming. 47 laps down of 81. Oh, curb strike on the inside there. Yeah, this is exhausting mentally. Down to second, turn it in, get the apex. Wait for the turbo to spool. Turn it in nice and early, get the curb on the outside. There we go. There's a little bar on my heads up display that says rain 0%. It's grayed out at the moment. You guys can see it on the bottom the screen as well. That's going to start flashing when that value changes. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 17 seconds. Yep, Nikita's got another three seconds on me over the last few laps. He just seems to be able to do a better job through the traffic. Like he loses time, but just not as much as me. <laughs> but yeah, it's round about this point of the stint where the blistering stops, so it must be blistering on the tyres because they suddenly find some more pace again. See, like, I'm only a tenth off my best now. I might be on for a 15 compared to the 1 minute 17s I've been doing. It just suddenly just switches like that after, like, 10 laps in the stint. It's pretty mental. Oh, well, it's been a bit more than 10 laps now, actually. It's, like, 15 laps into the stint. Yeah, back into the 15s. See, the tyres are good again now. Time was at 115.87. Using all the curb and then some. Got to maximise this now before the rain comes. This is where I had the advantage on Nikita last time. He came in and he went through the blistering full fuel phase while I was doing 1 minute 15s. This could be it. This could be the critical point of the race right now. This is that crossover point on the tyre where... Not dry to wet, just old dry to new dry, basically. They're saying that Nikita's last lap was a 1 minute 15.9 as well. Wow, that was a hell of a curb strike. Got that wrong. <sighs> the gap in front is now 18 seconds. Man, this is so much fun, though. This is an epic combo. This is such a good idea. So much fun to drive. Uh, my check, I mean, that lap time was 16.65. Nope. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Does take a lot of concentration, though. A lot of concentration. A lot of restraint with your feet. I just want to floor it, but I can't. I think my pedal cam's dead. Maybe. 
but my inputs are still being registered next to it. So you can see on that, you can see the red and green bars. Just how gentle you got to be on this thing. How smooth, how gradual. We can see some wear on those rear tyres. Keep an eye out. The car behind's pitting. Oh, exactly, Lena. I would have mapped my stick shifter, but I just completely forgot. And it, you can't have like multiple. Oh, missed that braking zone. You kind of. Leaders pitting now. God damn. Multiple shift. Uh, you kind of multiple assignments for the same thing. Worse. So like, I got my paddle shifts. So I'd have to redo my maps entirely. Yeah, Maybe next time. But I am running this on 100% force feedback, which I know on a CSL DD is only eight newton meters, but. I'm trying to go for that full experience, you know? Nikita's in the pits! This is terrific. Exactly what we came here for. You're leading. You've just done a 116.66. I've got 11 laps left on this set of tyres. Uh, sorry, on this, on this tank of fuel. If it starts raining and comes in for wet soon, I will like that very much. That crossover point will be rather tasty if I've timed it right. Yeah, pedal cam died really early on, Bushel. I'm not sure what happened with that. But not much I can do really. The pit stops are too short to do a restart on the on the cam. Behind is now 4.1 seconds. Okay, so Nikita's coming up behind me despite making a pit stop. I could be cheeky and hold him up here. But I don't want to lose time to Chris Ullier, who is probably playing a blind over strategy in third as well. That lap was at 116.80. Sector 1 is 0.46 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0. 3-0 off the pace. I uh, softened the suspension and the roll bars quite considerably on this setup to give it maximum compliance. Oh, it's a bit slidy on the rear there, don't want that. Got some traffic, this ain't good. I get them after this corner on the acceleration zone. They're going wide anyway. We're aware. There we go. I realise I cut back in very fine there, but Trino, we didn't leave him. It's time to get back on the racing line. Don't want to be taking that corner off, offline. It's fine. So this is for the lead of the race, but I haven't made my second stop yet. Oh, here comes the rain! It started flashing! The indicator started flashing! Wet track incoming very shortly. The storm's about to hit. Depends on how quickly it gets here, though. And whether a switch to wet tyres is necessary or not. My, like, force feedback freezes up a little bit too. And so the gun behind is now 4.2 seconds. Yeah, I've had that happen once when I was, like, mid-turn. Nikita's closing on me. Start to drizzle. Nikita's closing on me. I may have timed this rather well. There's a drop of water on my visor then. I just saw that just distract me. <laughs> See, what I need for it to do is start raining, and start raining fast and heavy. It went up 2% that lap. Got 10 laps to go, so that's going to be another 20%. I don't think it's going to be enough. Six zero. the track temperature's decreasing. It's now 32 Celsius. There's a few small drops, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think I might have to try and extend somehow. I 
Not sure how that's going to work. Cheers, mate. And don't forget, if people are running around, that drying line is going to be quite powerful. It's only when the track gets really wet that you need those wet tyres. Yep, there's a few more spots on the visor there. Just be conscious of the fact there's not enough grip. Nikita's dropped back a little bit. Rain's up to 3% now. The gap behind has now decreased to 3.3 seconds. You're leading. Will do, Sean. Right side. Thank you. All right. She's raining. Although technically, Sean, isn't that always the plan? <laughs> You've just done a 17.02. Oh, I had a bit of a splash then up on the visor. Must have been standing water already on the inside of that curb. Nikita's right behind me in the mirrors. Oh, we got traffic again. Your right front's carrying a bit of wet. Your left side tyres are looking pretty warm now. Thank you. All right. Clear right. You're clear. Oh, yeah, it's getting slidey. Rain's at 6%. One thing I really don't like about AMS2 is the pit menu. It's so... Clumsy. Really distracting. I just want to go straight into menu and select a strategy. I don't have to go through five different sub menus first. Tank wet, okay. Behind us now, 2.2 seconds. The lap time was at 17.12. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 30 Celsius. The track itself isn't actually that wet. It's just a bit of rain coming down. It's not sticking. It's not like accumulating or actually making the track wet. Although as the temperature drops, it will evaporate off less quickly. Got traffic again. On your right. That was awkward, right. Vaughn. That was awkward, man. That's Nikita, the leader, in right behind me now. Oh, he's gone wide! We want to say Nikita, the leader, that's the guy who's already stopped. This is for the race win. Okay, quiet lap incoming. I need to get back on the pace here. Need to hold him off. Air temperature's decreasing. It's now 21 Celsius. Half a second in it. Okay, Dan, hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. You've just done at 118.02. You're a second off the pace in sector one. Lap, Scott. Scruffy, but Nikita was scruffier. The gap behind is now 0.9. This is tense stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying the race and the stream so far, or the video if you're watching it on replay. If so, don't forget to leave it a like, say hi in chat, or the comments. Oh, very true, happy racing. This is an epic combo. Although this is an IndyCar. 
on your left, clear left. Thanks, Sticky. On your left, clear left. Nikita got very close to the rear then. It's getting slippy. Come on, rain. Is it going to be wet track though? We are losing time, but not enough. I got four laps left on this tank. Your tires are all looking a bit warm. Especially with moments like that. I don't think the track's wet enough. It's not going to be wet enough. We've got about three laps of fuel left. That lap was at 118.26. Sector 1 is 1.9 seconds off the pace. Do I come in for dries and then come back in again immediately for wets? Or is the wets worth it? I'm going to have to come in for wets, although the track isn't... There's no spray on the track. Are you on wets, uh, window? Yep. You can go by me if I'm holding you up. Okay, so it sounds like wets aren't working right now. I'm looking at a window, it's doing 1 minute 30s on wets. That's 15 seconds off the pace. Wets aren't a good option right now. Okay, Dan, we've seen a few spots of rain. Seems to be increasing. It's not enough. It's not enough rain. I'm going to have to come in again. The track needs to be properly wet, as in shiny for wets to work. Well sent, that one. <laughs> it's going to have to be another set of softs. Only two laps of fuel left. That was at 116.80. Yeah, I can still do one minute 16s. Although a new set of soft is going to be cold coming out of the pits. Oh, that's not going to be good. Oh. On your right. Yeah, pace is good on dry still. Oh, strategy, strategy. Defend hard, make them work for it. Their temperature's falling. It's now 19 Celsius. Has Nikita binned it? This is the last lap of fuel. Oh, okay, I've got to make a decision. Coming to the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. Oh no, it's getting very slippy. It's getting very slippy all of a sudden. It's going to be wet very soon. Nikita's losing pace as well. Okay, I'm going for wets. I'm going for wets. In and in. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Yep, yeah, it's starting to get incredibly slippy on that lap. 
Oh yeah, it doesn't want to slow down on the tarmac. Okay, fuel and tires, fuel and tires. 20 laps to go. Wet's going on. Wet's going on. Fuel's going in. Hold on, go. The track temperature is falling. It's now 23 Celsius. There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. Your tire temperatures look good. And now we just got to hold on for a few laps. Try and not cook these wets. Oh wow, so much understeer. It needs to start raining heavy and now. Thank you. No problem. It's only a few laps away guys, the rain is only a few laps away, and it is coming. Oh! No! No, no, no! Far left, clear left. Fuck yes! Suspension seems to be okay, although the rain stopped! It stopped raining! What an absolute scam! It's stuck at 20%! I was told there'd be storms! <laughs> Skies are clearing. Skies are clearing. Oh! Wrong button. AMS2 pit menu, you're horrible. Watch your speed. Soft tyres, soft tyres going on. Oh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get rid of the fuel in time. We don't go, go. I couldn't s tell it to not fuel. There's traffic behind. Take care. Down to fourth. Okay, this is going to be treacherous now. Back on softs, back on softs. So well, that didn't work. That's Chris up ahead of us. We've got it all to do. We've thrown away a second position with an extra stop. Now it's going to start throwing it down. I don't think so, Mark. Look, the clouds. The clouds are clearing. Right, it's on. Let's get that second place back. Got like 10 seconds to find in 15 laps. Slippy track guys ahead. They're doing 118s. Oh! Pick, pick a line, mate. Come on. If you're going to let me through, let me through properly. Don't just hover on the apex. That's awful. Ah. The 
As long as people keep circulating around, keep this drying line, it should be okay. Yeah, I had to try it. I had to come in at that point anyway. And at that point, the rain was just increasing and increasing and increasing. Five seconds. Okay, we're back up. We got past Crazy Canuck. This is Chris. This is battle for Chris. Six seconds down the road for second. Need to break a bit earlier there. Second on Chris then. Oh, curb hop. Although these are fresh tyres, so I've probably still got the advantage. There's surprisingly still quite a lot of grip. Now the rain's eased off a bit. Chris has got a lot of traffic up there as well. A lot of traffic, wow. He's getting held up big time. Gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 3.2. Chris is in the Penske white and red Marlboro livery. That's the target, not this Texaco. Uh, Kmart, sorry. Far left, clear to the left. On your left, clear left, clear left. I think Chris just came in the pits. P2, not that, was that? 17.58. Chris just came in the pits, yeah. And we had another issue with an Andretti car in the final sector. Hey, Ripper. Oh, Nikita's coming in. I forgot Nikita's got to make his final stop. We're miles behind him, though, because we basically made an extra pit stop that we didn't have to. If it had taken softs, oh, it could be on. Nikita did short fuel it and made an extra pit stop. The rain's flashing. Is it going down or is it going up? 20%? Is it going to 19 or 21? Seconds. Back into second though. Cheers mate. Didn't have to do that. Yeah, the clouds are clearing. There's no spray on the track. There's Why still a relatively place, dry dude. line. We're currently setting the pace. You've just done a 116.78. Your times are good in all three sectors. So I'm glad ahead of you. You're in 15, so. I'm in. Or fifth. Rain indicators uh, flashing again. Standing is like. Changing, rains are changing. All in. <laughs> yeah, no worries. No sweat there, so. <laughs> Sorry. I think I held up Daniel for like 10 laps. For the same, same problem. Oh, treacherous. Oh, a bit of contact there. Theo Loop and Trinomi. Gently does it. On your left. We're aware. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Vaughn. The quickest right now. That lap time was 17.18. Two tenths off the pace in sector three. It's a 
just me or the wet's like undrivable? They are oh. undrivable. Yeah. The car behind is reeling you in. The gap is now 13 seconds. Yeah, Scotty's well, coming. He? Yeah, slicks have got so much grit. A bit OP actually. The engine's on its last legs, mate. Try and give him some breathing space. Oh, that's not good. Alright, so the hard on. I'm on soft still. Left side. They're on the left. There's Nikita on wet. Nikita's on wet! He's, he's back in the pits! He's done the same as me! He's done exactly the same as me! It's on! It's on, guys! The leader's in the pits! Nice day, you're on lap 69. It's not over yet. We're in the lead. 118, 116. Oh! On your way. Don't your break way. on an acceleration zone. That's it. Three tenths of a second in it. This is for the lead of the race. Ten laps to go. Just roll. Oscar, hello. Watch out. Short shift indeed. Yeah, Nikita's gonna have a lot less day. fuel on than me. Because he basically I tanked yeah, it at the pit stop because I couldn't because right. I couldn't get the fuel out, so he's way lighter on fuel than me. We're on for the win. Right side, clear to the right. I'm so lucky Nikita made the same mistake as me. This is looking good. You're in the lead. You've just done a 118.10. Maybe it will start to rain again. Who knows? All I know is I've got temperature in my tyres, the rain hasn't stopped, and the Nikita's come out on cold tyres. Maybe that's got something to do with it as well. Ten laps. Ten laps. Just got to hold on. Got to defend it. Oh, he's gone wide behind. Gap's increasing. Okay, it appears to be getting heavier on the screen, but it doesn't time was seem 16. to be two, one too bad on the track. The track's pretty much bone dry, it's not sticking. Right side. Or right. That was a hell of a dive from Nikita oh, then. sent it like a missile that was some miles back but fair play to him he actually kept it oh I got a whack from the back marker resend three tenths in it no Nikita came into pit again <laughs> it's on! Well done, Dan. Great move. Keep it up. It's on! It's on, guys! No, it's not! Far left. Clear left. On your left. Clear to the left. Right side. Clear right. 
Damn it! Oh, okay. Uh, let's get up on the curb. Oh yeah, it's wet. It's wet. Sorry, mate. Obvious racer confirms obvious facts. It's all good, man. worth a try. Thank you, Shay. I had to try something. I had to try something. He's just got too much pace. I've got... I'm fat on fuel. I've pretty much got a full tank for a half stint. Alright, focus, Dan. You're losing too much time making stupid mistakes, trying too hard. Next lap, quiet lap, deep breath, calm. at 15.8 that's mental how is he doing that kind of lap time we're seeing minor wear on your rear tires <laughs> oh good i just didn't do my pet stop strategy if ams2 had a better pit menu where i could actually react in time and disable fuel instead of taking a full tank preset i should i should have done a preset with tires only but that's just me not being prepped. The leader has just done a 115, 122. The last lap time was at 116. Soft, I'm keeping temperature, so I think that's right. Oh! I think same What was the point of wets? 1.3 seconds to him on that lap. I think they work better when it's like medium and heavy rain and stuff. So well! Not my head. Thank you, Sean! And how do you know when you switch over when your car. Uh, basically when the temperature drops in the tires. When they go cold, it's too wet out. Hmm. Ben, that's you indeed. The gap ahead is now 3.7. I've lost so much grip on the rears. It's so slidey. Thank you again, Sean. Thank you, mate. but not like 1.3 seconds a lap quicker. Or maybe he is, actually. I've got no rear grip at all. It's not even like they're overheating. That last lap was at 17.40. Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. Come on, right dude. Side. Clear the right. Oh, well, it was worth a try. <laughs> I was in the lead very briefly with the mother of all sins from Nikita, but no. All right. We're right. You're clear. There's a bit of wear on your left side no, tires. No wonder Nikita dived it up the inside of me into turn three. Or was it turn four? Um, <laughs> if he's doing 1.5 seconds a lap faster than me. 6.6 seconds. P2. They had a massive advantage. There's no way I could have held him off for that long. Gave him a best shot though, and he was very res respectful. I was probably incredibly cheeky into the final corner. 
I got wiggly up onto the curb there and he tried to pass me on the left. So I had to cut it short on the apex here. And he had it around the outside and I just couldn't brake. Um, I've heard about the crew chief pit strategy um, voice commands. I could just never seem to get it to work though. It just never, never happens. Just doesn't recognize my voice for some reason. I don't know whether it's the volume or the input device, but I've played around with it for hours trying to get it to configure it properly. It just, just does not want to work. Because that would be an incredibly useful feature, if so. Some kind of pit macro using my voice. Hey, Donk! It's late for you, mate. Oh, that's Nikita! Has he hit the wall? Nikita's in... The guy behind you really knew the gap's now. It's at 0.7 seconds. That's the leader. What's happened? Has he hit the wall? Has he got damage? Got a bit of tyre wear on all your tyres. It's back on again. He's had a big off somewhere. Four laps to go. Back on again, okay. Okay, Dan, we're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 0 0.49. That was a 17.56. Yeah, third place coming in hot as well. I think Nikita's got some kind of damage up here. He was off to the side of the wall. I think he's put it in the fence. Cold. That's the first time I've heard that all race. He's up on the curb! On your left. Hold your line. Clear left. Gave him all the room on the outside there. I held the apex so tight. That's the lead of the race. We're back in the lead. He's going to be feisty now, having given up the lead twice. I would say that I'll go back and watch that on the replay, but I'm not sitting through an hour and a half of noises because Automobile Listed 2 doesn't have a skip to location button. Okay, three laps to go. Four laps on this set of tyres. This is excellent, mate. Keep it up. You're now in the lead. Three laps to go. We're in the lead of the race. Hold it together, Dan. Like. Oscar said in chat. Canuck is coming in third place. Scotty, that's his name. Nikita's four seconds back. He's binned it again. Nikita's binned it again. I almost binned it as well. Rain's rain is accumulating. That must be the problem. The rain is still accumulating. I hope my move on him in turn eight was clean. I really do. I gave him all the room in the world. I'm not going to back out of that. And I'm already alongside. No. No. Okay, mate, take a breath, fire a backup, get back on it. No! You've got some serious suspension damage there. Wet track! Wet track! It just understeered massively! Suspension's fine, suspension's fine, two laps to go. P4, two laps left. Spotter said the suspension was damaged, but it's not, it's okay. We can do it again. Don't stop believing, Russell. Car right, through to the right. That's Nikita back into third. There's the leaders up ahead.
track is definitely wet. On your left, clear to the left. I don't need to be on track right now. The gap ahead is now 2.4. All right, Dan, one more to go. Last Keep lap. We'll be on the podium. P3. Last lap. It's definitely wet. There's puddles on the track now. It's wet. Careful, they could spin and bin. The track's got a sheen to it. Last lap, two seconds. Oh. That's a slap, right? Scotty's gonna win it! Oh, <laughs> third position! Oh, if only I didn't throw it away with two laps to go! Oh, that's a Man, hell of a push, dude. God! <laughs> what a finish to that race! That was all over the place with all four of us. Man, I can't believe I threw it away with two laps to go. Awesome, awesome racing, everybody. Good driving. GG, Scott. I feel the same way, Dan. <laughs> oh, what, racing, what happened, Nikita? Uh, I just, like, barely grazed the tire wall on that kink. Uh, I thought you must have had some damage or something. You were, you were struggling in those last few laps. Yeah, I did have damage. <sighs> Good racing, everyone. <laughs> what a race. Good racing. What a race. That was pretty fun. Difficult feat. Third Fine. place. Third place. I can't believe I threw it away. Slid off into the fence and stalled it. Man, that was that was mine. Car Good left. race, everyone. Clear to the left. Good race, Nikita. Good race. Oh. <laughs> Down the position. That's weird. It says you got second for me, where were you? I finished first. Can't burn out these cars. <laughs> oh, you did? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, congrats on first place, man. This was a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. And it just quit on me straight away. I guess didn't even gotta, get to see the results. I blame for... <laughs> P1, P2 is too close. Ah. <sighs> Great race, I can't believe guys. I botched my <laughs> second pit stop and put wets on. Oh, so pissed. <laughs> oh, my game crashed towards the end. Yeah, I couldn't see the results either. I, I um got booted out. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't got... see them either. I was eight. Then my game just, like, SimHub just completely crashed. Yeah, we've only got your yeah. word for it, Scott, that you won that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still, I will, I will have to wait for somebody to post the results. I have no idea where I finished because there were sinking issues again. Yeah. <sighs> if anyone can hit the replay. <laughs> yeah, I'll upload it. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Daz. Oh, I'm drenched. Thank you, Stephen. Shay. Talk to you later. Vushal. Yeah, Everybody, what one. what a gamble at the end of that one. Yeah, thanks, Adelaide. That was awesome. Yeah, that was a good time. Nice uh, nice psych with the uh, storm at the end, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, was just light was rain. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that was fun. I saw nice. everyone watching. I was like, ha-ha, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lainette. Thank you very much. Well, Thank you very much, Not Ripper, as well. Six euros, three dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. That means so much to me. That was...
<laughs> what an experience. What yeah, a race. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Just surprised. I'm surprised I didn't hit a wall during that whole time. <laughs> that was like my <laughs> one thing to try to avoid. <gasps> I actually yeah. flew over the first thank you. I actually thank you, thank you. Thanks, Desmond. Thank you for the subscribe as well, by the way. I'm glad That's you enjoyed it. Replay so I can record it. Oh, jeez. I, I spun on the second and last lap like I always do, too. So. It all came together at the end. I, uh, right, I'm going to wrap up the voice chat and then I'm going to wrap up the stream. Up in, uh, and um, I'm going to go and get a cold shower because like I need one. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go wrap up the stream anyway, guys, because I definitely need a cold shower after that. <laughs> Yeah, see you guys. Yeah. Thanks for joining right. us. Boys. Thank you so much see for hosting this. That was awesome yeah. fun. That was such a good, a good combo. Time. And um, see you next month for whatever shenanigans might be in store. Yeah, see you for the next one. <laughs> Road America. Cheers, guys. See ya. Cheers. So and that is NARR, Automobilista 2, Cart 1998. At Adelaide Fall. I'm sorry that I don't have some kind of results for you. Uh, the game quit out at the end of the session, didn't let me show you, but second position, uh, third position, that was mental stuff. Started in second, pretty well, straightforward well, stuff. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, let me put some music on in the background. Uh, where are we? That one there. Cool. Uh, yeah, started second, held on to that for the majority of the race, um, overcut Nikita um, by about 10-15 laps. I thought I timed it to perfection right at the end with the wet tyres, however the wet tyres were like 10 seconds a lap slower. Came back into the pits, put the drives back on again, and then when Nikita came into the pits, he put the wets on and he was struggling, he had to pit again, so it all balanced out in the end. So it's battle for second, battle for first, had some wheel-to-wheel -wheel action at the end, and then I went and binned it. <laughs> I went and binned it right at the end. Threw it away, back down to fourth, managed to get uh, Nikita back for third. Couple of laps, maybe I would have got Scotty and uh, Chris again, but that was so close at the end of the race. That was absolutely mental. And speaking of rain, I want to show you guys something very quickly. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the subscribe, MarzoLazard28 as well. Um, because rain is also very um, persistent here in Brisbane as well. Uh, in real life, in the real world. Let me just bring this up on the screen right now. I want to show you guys something. Because it has not stopped raining for something like three days straight here in Brisbane. There we go. Uh, my general location is around about here. I don't know if you can see that. Just the, just above where it says Brisbane Airport. And we're right in the thick of the storm right now. I don't know if you can hear it outside. Um, but basically, I'll show you some pictures of underneath the house. This is what happened before the stream. Where are we? There we go. Uh, it's a bit wet, guys. As you can see, that's under the house right now. <laughs> Well, it was before I started the stream anyway. That's down the side of the house. We are underwater. There are several properties in Brisbane which have already flooded. And ours is very close to flooding as well downstairs. So I've got to be careful. Um, so I'm going to wrap up the stream very quickly. I'm going to go and put some more sandbags or protection downstairs to keep the water from coming in. And everything's upstairs. I'm on the second floor here. But yeah. What's the weather forecast for the next few days actually? What's it looking like? Okay, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great either. Rain, 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 rain. We're raining for the next week non-stop as well. So I think we might be in a bit of trouble here, guys. Um, yeah, we're on one of those stilted houses, Ripper. We're not on the top of a, not on the top of a platform, but the underneath of the house has got the dishwasher, the freezer, the washing machine, all that kind of stuff downstairs. Everything's up as high as it can be on shelves and storage. But, um, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> Hell of a lot of rain, so, yeah. A little bit worried. So I'm going to go look after that, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for everything today. That was a hell of a race. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it's not too late to leave the stream a like, say hi in the comments, and maybe subscribe. Um, thank you for everyone who did subscribe today again. Coming up on the channel, uh, next on Wednesday is round five of six of the OzNZ Sim Racing iRacing Championship, which you can see in the background. Now we're doing GT3s at Laguna Seca. There it is. 
So keep an eye on that for Wednesday. I am four points behind the championship leader with two races to go. So let's see if I can get one back on Dean Pow <laughs> for the leader of the championship. But that, that's on Wednesday, so check out that. Um, and then after that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing race-wise because uh, my wife is heavily pregnant and is due to give birth at any time now, basically. So I'm not really booking in too many streams. I'll try and do some Tuesday Thunders if I can. But um, apart from these iRacing races, you know, next Wednesday and the Wednesday after, I got no plans. So I'll just, you know, I'll try and keep the content up. But as you can imagine, things might be a little bit busy for me dealing with the birth of my first first child my baby daughter and all that kind of stuff so i'll be around when i can guys but thank you for today this means so much you look after yourselves and i will catch you when i catch you don't forget to check out the discord in the meantime though for a community event very soon all right guys bye bye Sneak preview of the community event right here. There you go. Cheers, guys.